Hail to you, great dreamer. We have woven a tale together in days past. Perhaps we shall again. We make mighty stories, Yuta. And now I have daunting task before me. The last in my great journey. Near to us, cast in shadow, a monster awaits. Black Death is his name. A beauteous eight-legger, twisted grotesque by the master of his loathsome halls. I wish to give this eight-leg the merciful peace he deserves, and to save what is still beautiful, the elixir that only Black Death can make. Please, will you find him? Kill this Black Death. Take the eight-leg's venom for me. I may be fearsome warrior, but Black Death's master has made him into a thing more monstrous than even I can best. Who knows? Perhaps Black Death is too strong even for you.
Our brutal construction nears completion, and now only the wretched Dodri Darktum remains. Unlike her compeers, who, in undeath, have yearned for the familiar, Dodri appears drawn to the old wounds of calamity. The cataclysm took some and left much that a parasite like Dodri might enjoy. I shall meet you in San, where I hope you shall make swift and bloody work of that foul hag. Venom, O oh, great dreamer who has done great deeds, I shall see to it that my queen rewards you with honor and mercy when she rises up to claim what is hers. Yes, this elixir, so aged and potent, shall be life-giving draught that she sips upon first waking. It is my gift to her, my wedding gift. Great dreamer. You will be wrapped in silken finery and made welcome at our wedding feast. Guest of honor. And oh, what a feast we all shall enjoy. What? He's intending to make matrimony with Arakali? My word, that's quite a story even for Silk. Yes, I know that name, and the place to which it is purportedly attached. A temple to the north, now in ruins. If Silk intends unholy congress with this Arakali, that is the most likely place we would seek it. Unfortunately, Arakali's temple lies beyond that which now belongs to Ralakesh. To reach the many-legged goddess, you must first draw to some conclusion with the many-faced god. Keep your wits up. What you tell me of Silk, this I understand, though I do not want to. I have spent many nights pondering Silk's journey why he has stepped from the spirit path. Now I know. He has walked into the eight arms of blind lust, Arakali. Silk is a warning to us all. He is trying to take the short trail to greatness, to the story spirit has made for him. Silk tries to steal his story, but now he holds only a lie. Please. You must find the place where this Arakali sleeps in her web of shadow. You must stop Silk before he wakes her. A mistake that we all will come to regret. The spirit tells me this is so. One less twisted intellect perverting our world. There is still much to be done, but at least we can rest easier in the knowledge that Melagaro and his foul creations will trouble Rayclass no longer. Here. I know that you and Groost didn't see eye to eye, but I'm sure he would have wanted to recognize this deed. It's the act of a warrior, after all. Keep your life to your own. <laughs> 